with the introduction of client and server components in Next.js, it definitely might lead to some mistakes that are made when trying to integrate these client and server components. So in today's video, I'm going to go over one of those common mistakes and how to solve it. This kind of stems from an article from the Next.js docs here. I'll try to make sure it's linked in the description that discusses that since client components are rendered after server components, you cannot import a server component into a client component module since it would require a new backend request back to the server. Instead, you can pass a server component as props to a client component. So as you can see in their example here, with this use client client component, trying to import a server component, it says you cannot do that. However, you can, if you have a parent component, you can render a server component as a child to a client component. So let's take a look at this a little bit more in depth in just a demo application here. This is just a basic MPX create next app application in which at our homepage, I render out this client component. And all this client component does is as a title, you can see it's a client component here with the use client directive, but it has a title and then a button here that handles an on-click. Keep in mind that in Next.js, if you want to handle user events like an on-click, on-change, stuff like that, it's going to have to be a client component, or at least that element is going to have to be within a client component. Although you could use server actions and do some cool stuff with that, but generally that is going to be true if you're trying to handle like an on-click or on-change. Now, with this, we do some really complex logic here for this on click and then if i go back to our locos 3000 i'm running this app you can see that i click the button we see click down here when we go to my console we see that that number is incrementing here over the side so it's working correctly it's styled very beautifully here and as much as i don't want to mess that up let's go ahead and add some some text to it so say below this we want to add like a feed or some sort of content that we're just going to render on the server and then send to the client. Well, here, as just an example here, I have a server component, an async server component that renders a paragraph. And this is just an example that it would like await fetching this data and then render this data within the paragraph. Here, we're just kind of mocking it with in await data, we're not really using the data, and then it's an async component, and then just rendering a lorem ipsum paragraph, but we'll still see the effect here. So what happens if we try to render this server component here within this client component? Well, if we go back, we see error, async, await is not yet supported in client components, only server components. This error is often caused by accidentally adding use client to a module that was originally written for the server. So the issue here is that basically we're trying to use this client component or this server component importing it into a client component. So that, that's just not going to work. Now, what if we try something else here? So what if we do what they say in their docs? and Instead of doing this, maybe we'll just say our content here is going to be equal to a reference to a component. And this content will just be our server component. And we'll pass that in as a prop to our client component. Well, let's see if anything's still broken. Well, nothing's broken right now. So let's go to the client component. Let's take the content prop and I spell content wrong, content prop, and then just render it below the button. And let's see if this works. And I get this error, cannot read properties of undefined. I think that's because with my fetch function here, I didn't add an actual URL. So let's go ahead and just add that. And we see that that does fix the issue. So sorry about that little hiccup here. Let me just kind of uh, back up a second. So if I render this client component content, as a prop, and that prop is a server component that renders everything just fine here. But if I try to render that server component directly 
into my client component? Well, it doesn't get an error, but I do see that I get these big council warnings here saying I can't have that server component in a client component. So if I get rid of this now and then I clear my council and I refresh, you see that I don't get any errors anymore. So I'm not sure why it wasn't actually throwing an error there instead of just throwing it in my council. But here you can see that when I don't use a server component within my client component, I get no errors and I can just pass it as a prop here to a client component. But if I try to render it directly into the client component like I did earlier, I do get errors here. Now, another way that we could do this is we could just pass it as children. So that's what they showed in the docs here. So I could pass in my server component as children to my client component here. And then instead of content, it's going to be children on props.children. And then I render it out and everything still works correctly here. Now, real quick, what happens if we try to render a client component within a server component? Like, will that work? Well, let's come back here. And now let's just render our server component here and remove the client component. And then we'll also remove children here. And now let's just try to render this client component within this server component while importing it directly. So let's go ahead and use a React fragment. Pull this up, render this paragraph. And then below this paragraph, we'll render out our client component here, importing it directly into this file. And what you do see is we are able to render it down here. It works as expected because in server components, you can import client components in there and render them directly, but not the other way around. You cannot import client components into server components and render them directly. To get around that, you're going to have to do something like we did earlier to where we passed a server component as a prop to this client component here, or pass it in as children, or something along those lines. So a little bit of a, a gotcha there in Next.js, definitely something that uh, is going to take me some getting used to still, but hopefully this helps you out if you're getting any errors or anything like that, that is just kind of weird. And even the error message it gave wasn't like a hundred percent clear what was, I mean, it was kind of clear what the issue was, but not necessarily where the issue is coming from. So uh, hopefully that helps you out and gives you a better idea of how to integrate client and server components. So thanks for tuning into this. I hope to help you out and I'll see you in the next one.